Hey people, in this video we're going to be going over roles and permissions so that we can make a moderation bot. Uh, by the end of this video we're going to have a bot that can kick or ban users based on uh, whether you've given somebody a permission to call it. So you can assign a user as a moderator and then if somebody breaks those rules they'll have the ability to call a kick command and it will boot uh, whatever user they mention from the chat or from the server. And we're also going to make a word filter bot so that if you want to add a list of words, swear words, whatever, you can automatically f delete those messages right as they appear. So uh, this bot will be really easy to customize. You'll be able to make different roles and uh, add different, basically, moderation features based on that. Uh, and basically, you'll just see how to create custom bots based on permission level and stuff like that. So let's get started. The first thing we're going to need to do is go to our server and we're going to need to create this role. So we're going to go to server settings and then we're going to go to roles and you're going to just add a role. Uh, so you can name this whatever you want. Uh, as you can see I already have it made over here which is a moderator. And What you're going to do is allow anyone to mention this role so that we can get the ID and you're also going to scroll down and do add the permissions to kick and ban members by default. Once you've done that, you're going to want to go down here and we're going to do backslash at the name of that role you created. Uh, whatever you named it, you're going to do at that role. And then you'll see it re return this right here. So you want to get this number which is the ID of the bot, which is what we'll need to basically call this to check if this role exists and then be able to ban members with it. So you don't need these, you just need the number itself. And now we can go back into our code and we're just gonna do like what we've done in previous videos where we're gonna do check for the command and in this case we're just gonna call it kick and then based on that we're gonna go down here and the first thing we need to do is we're going to check if they have the proper permission. So the person calling this command, we want to verify that they are a moderator. So inside we're going to do if the message dot member dot roles or do has. So this basically checks if they have that role. So we're going to create a string and we're going to paste in that role ID from the other from the chat and this is basically saying so if the member is a moderator has that role assigned and what this exclamation point does which is the important aspect is basically it's in JavaScript it's does not so basically we're saying if this member does not have the role if they aren't a moderator we're going to reply and basically say uh, you are not a moderator and can't kick whoops can't kick people space person to tell tell them that they aren't allowed to use this role and the reason we're using this exclamation point is I've seen some of the other tutorials covering this stuff and instead of doing this they'll if you get like this, it ends up you have to nest your code a bunch. Instead of just ending the command right here, uh, a lot of the tutorials that I see, they've done it the opposite way. And the result is you have to nest your code three layers deep, which is pretty ugly. So because of this, by checking the opposite, we can basically just end our code here if they aren't that role. So that's really just a way to keep your code clean. Uh, it can be kind of, if you're a beginner with JavaScript, it can be kind of hard to basically flip things in your head of how this works, but that's what that is doing there. So then underneath, if we think about how this thing is going to work, we're going to want to do kick, and then we're going to want to mention somebody. So we're going to mention, uh, in this case, I added this test account. So that would be, uh, we're going to make sure that we mention somebody like this. So the next thing we have to do is behind that command we have to make sure they mentioned somebody. So what we're going to do is 
create a variable called const user and we're gonna say message message dot mentions dot users dot first and this is basically if there's a person mentioned in this message it will pull that out and if it doesn't if there's nobody mentioned at all in this uh, basically if there's nobody mentioned in this message it'll return nothing so we can then basically do the same thing here so we do if user and we're gonna add this exclamation point again so if there's no user if the user does not exist if there was nobody mentioned here we're going to reply again and say message reply or say no user mentioned to kick so basically this will again end our it'll end the command if there's nobody mentioned in the message there's no point continuing so finally if there is somebody mentioned what you're going to do const member and we're going to check if they're a member of the actual server so message.guild.member and then we're going to pass in the user and this will basically determine if they're a member of our actual server if it's not some random person because we're not going to kick them if they aren't actually a member so then if member so if the member if the person is a member of the server we're going to do member.kick and then we're going to do we can do you can put whatever you want here this will basically say this message whatever you put here will show in like the server logs so we'll just do this message will show in the server logs and then after that we can also do it's called a promise this is a JavaScript feature so if we do dot then we can then do a callback function so inside we're gonna do dot then and it's like we did above where we just created a function inside here and what this allows us to do we can choose after they've been kicked what do we want to do and in this case we'll just do message dot reply and we'll basically notify everybody that somebody has been removed so we're gonna do dollar sign user dot tag so their username and we'll say this user was kicked from the server so basically like I was saying this is just a JavaScript thing you can look it up it's called promises and this is just like uh, above we've made functions like if we look at our joke function we can see the similar code and this is basically just saying after this runs, uh, we can do whatever. You could do something else in here. You could do instead of doing a message reply, you could do a bunch of different stuff. But that's what we're going to do. We're going to keep it simple in this case. And we're just going to send this reply. So now we can go test this out. So if we go in here, if we run this now, if we do dot kick, and then at, we'll do this test account. So if we click enter, it should boot them from the server. Maybe not. Let's see. So pass this in. Where are we going wrong here? Got if user message chat rolls. Everything should be good here. Oh, we didn't save our code. That's going to be an issue. So a lot of the times it's gonna be obvious stuff like that. So now let's try running again. And everything should work now. So click enter. And we can see, huh, let's, no user mentioned to kick. So why would that cause? For some reason we're getting a, it doesn't think we're getting the uh, user is it because we don't have a space maybe let's see let's try again troll test account so let's see what our bug is here it's so basically this is going fine it says we have to roll uh, the issue is right here somewhere so for some reason ah uh, here it is we're doing why did has to be users. I don't know why that corrected the uh, roles again. So we're gonna save, go back, try it a third time. Do kick. 
at test troll account click on here there we go and now we can see over here it disappeared so a couple dumb mistakes but I like to show those because I mean a lot of people I see tutorials they skip through it or cut out I think it's good to go through the process of how you uh, kind of find bugs in your code and a lot of the times the first time is because I didn't save the second time is just because a dumb typo I wasn't thinking and I repeated that up here so that's basically uh, if you wanted to you could basically change this from kick to ban if you wanted to fully ban them but we're just gonna leave it as kick or you could just copy and paste this code basically and change this the uh, command to ban and the, this function right here to ban and you could have both of them available for moderators so now what we're going to do is we're going to work on that word filter function so that we can basically ban words from our server so the word filter is going to be a little bit different from a command because we want it to run on every message so if we put our code inside this uh, we're, this basically only checks for commands so we're going to want to create a separate function here. So we're gonna do bot.on and we're gonna do message again. So we're basically creating a second event listener is what this would be. So both of these, whenever a message is created in our chat, it will receive that. But this one is gonna be separate. So it's listening by itself as well. So we're gonna repeat our thing our code from above. But in this case, instead of filtering like this we look if it doesn't start with an exclamation point it automatically filters it out and it just stops it returns in this case we're going to listen to everything regardless of if it's a command so we're going to do uh, we'll just do console.log to start to show that it's listening uh, we'll do we can just do message and you'll see that every time we type something in if we save this it will paste it down here so we can test it out uh, Let's type in random stuff. If we go in here, we can see it's passing in. It's getting this message here, along with all the other stuff, not just the text. So we just did message dot content and saved. Instead of getting that whole object, if we scroll down, we can see we just get this text here. So basically, we can see this is lift. This is listening separately from the one up here. And now we can go about basically searching through the message and checking if it has any words that we don't like. So we we'll go down. What we're going to do is let word array. We're going to equal to message.content.split. So basically, what we're doing is we're going to split all the messages up into individual words and put it in an array. And then uh, we can console.log that. We'll just paste this down here. Instead of doing the content, we'll do word array. And we'll comment that out. So now, when we do our next message, we'll see it'll be broken up into individual words. But for now, we're going to keep going. And we're going to do, we'll make an array of words we want to filter. So we'll do let filter words. And we're going to do equals an array. And you can do a string. So you can make this be whatever you wanted so if you just want to do swear words you could put all the various words you don't want we'll just do uh, random words we can do the if you don't want people to say the you can do that uh, we can do troll filter ourselves so we'll do stuff like that for now and then now what we want to do is basically filter through the array of the comment and we're going to compare it to this filter words and then we can basically if it contains any of these we can get rid of it so what we're going to do is do a for loop for it's going to be var i equals zero and then as long as i is less than our filter words dot length we'll do i plus one so basically for loop what's gonna happen is we're gonna filter through each of these words so no matter how long it is if we added a third one because it's based on the length of that array we're gonna be going through those words and comparing it so if 
word array includes and I'll do filter words I. So basically we're gonna filter through so first loop we're gonna filter it'll check this first word and if our comment includes that word what we're gonna do is message.delete message.delete and then what we're gonna do is make a message message at channel dot send or send a message to the channel and we're going to say sorry to the user who made the message we're going to do author dot username uh, and we're gonna say this is a Christian server and we don't use words like that so you can send whatever message you want but basically uh, what's gonna happen here is if it includes any words in this array it'll automatically delete it and then it'll send a message to the chat and then we're gonna want to break out so if we find any word inside our filter we don't want to keep looping like if we had 50 words in this array there's no point continuing to loop after we've already found one word that's bad that we don't want in there so we can break out of this loop with this command here so let's save and now let's test it out so if we have any message that says the, the or troll it should get deleted so we click enter uh, looks like it got it what did what went wrong here Bruh. look at this dude <laughs> Wait till you see the. F <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> ah, look at the top of his head. <laughs> so, the issue here is that uh, just another dumb mistake where I put the break on the outside of this if statement. So. We have to move that inside. So basically what happened here, the reason it wasn't working is when we looped through, since it was outside here after the first loop, where it basically checked the, if it didn't find that, it would automatically break and end the command. So by moving the break inside the if statement, it only breaks the loop if we are basically, if we find a word after it's gone through all the arrays, after all the words in our list. So. Just another dumb mistake, but if we go in here now and type in troll, we can see it deletes it. See my message disappeared. It says sorry, username. Uh, we don't like those words. So now the only thing I want to do is what I mentioned in a pr couple previous videos is we're going to add a image. So you can use this uh, not just for the word filter. You could do it for when you ban people. You could do it for jokes, uh, and like I mentioned in a previous video, if you want to do like a with the API, you could bring in random images and stuff like that. So what we're gonna need to do to add the image is just a comma, and then a bracket, and then inside this, what we're gonna do is files, and then an array, and a string. And we'll, uh, I already got it grabbed, which is a link to a image URL. So that's what I'm going to put in here and then save it. But basically, you could use any, if you went to Google Images and you right click on the image, you can do the get link address or get the link to the photo. So you can use any image you want here. And then once you save, if we try this again, it should have an image attached. So you can see it pulls in that image as well. So this is the first time without that file, and now we have this. So basically, like I said, you can use this a lot of different ways, uh, but that's just an example, kind of a bonus feature to this tutorial. But uh, basically, that's all I wanted to cover for this uh, video. I went over, basically, you have a template now to make different roles, and you can have give users access to different features. It doesn't have to be a moderation bot. It could be a variety of things. It could be the start of a level system where you have people who are allowed to vote and stuff like that. You could do like a loyalty system that way, all sorts of stuff. So 
Uh, that's all I really wanted to cover for this series. If it helped you out, hit like. And if you're interested in future videos covering Discord bots,